Hi everyone, thanks for visiting my channel. Today, we'll be making our very own drum. Remember to ask an adult for permission before starting this craft. So, for our drum, we will need some tape, a pair of scissors, a rubber band, a pencil, and a balloon. If you do not have a balloon, you can also use a plastic shopping bag. You will also need some paper for decorating. So let's get started. If you're making your drum with a plastic shopping bag, then the first thing you want to do is cut out a large piece from your shopping bag. Next, take your piece from your shopping bag and stretch it over your can very tightly. Now, you want it to be very, very tight, not loose. If it's too loose, then you, it'll fall in, you won't be able to play it. So you wanna stretch, 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 and then you'll take your rubber band and you'll pop it over like this and pull that tighter and tighter. And then you can cut around the edges and get rid of that extra plastic. And then you've got your drum top. Now, if you're making your drum with a balloon, we're going to cut our balloon right here where it gets small. And be very careful when you use your scissors. Then we're going to stretch our balloon, stretch, stretch, stretch out and stretch it over the can like this. Once the balloon is on, you wanna take your rubber band and stretch that over that balloon so that the balloon stays in place. And now you've got your drum. Once you've put your drum together, the next step is to decorate it. So you can use anything you want to decorate your drum. You can use plain paper and draw on that paper. You can use stickers. But for me, I have this really cool paper that has all of these musical symbols on it and all of these pretty colors. So I'm going to take my paper and wrap it around to see if it fits. And it does. So I'll take a piece of tape, put the tape right here on the end, put my paper, line my paper up with my can just like this, and then roll the paper around my can. And then I'm going to take another piece of tape and tape the outside. So now my drum is all done. And I can play it. So you can take a pencil. I play my drum with a pencil with a rubber eraser at the top. And that helps make the best sound, but you can also play it with your hand. And you just want to make sure that you play it nice and lightly so that you don't puncture or put a hole in the balloon at the top. All right, so that's my drum. I hope you enjoyed learning to make your very own drum today. And remember to like and subscribe for more fun music videos. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.